So your A can be an MYM matrix. A can be an MYM matrix. And then X has to be an M plus 1 matrix. And B will be an M plus 1 matrix. Okay, then two cases may arise. One case is this M is less than N. Suppose if M is less than N, then what happens? That means what? I have small number of equations compared to the number of unknowns. I have more unknowns than the number of equations. Then what happens? You cannot determine the solution. There exists no solution. Correct? So if m is less than n, there exists no solution. But if m is greater than n, that means we have more equations than unknowns. So you have infinite solutions in that case. You can have multiple solutions. In fact, the solutions can be infinite. But if m is equal to n, then you have a unique solution. So this is what happens. So generally, if you have uh, an M, M plus N matrix, we have talked about several decompositions, decomposing one, con uh, so transforming matrix into an upper triangular matrix, LU decomposition, Cholesky decomposition, several decompositions we have seen. But for a general M, M by N matrix, there is something called Singular value decomposition. This is part S E D. Singular value decomposition. So what one does in the singular value decomposition is that you write a matrix A or it can be written. For a general complex matrix A, that you can write this A as U S beta. <coughs> Where this matrix as U S and beta will have the following properties. So where the matrix is Okay, 
So there is no 3, but S1 and S2 are, uh, are not 0, but all other things are 0. So it will be like that. Okay, so um, whichever is minimum, M and M, whichever is minimum, so many non zero elements will be there in this. And the square matrix B.
are never that linearly independent columns of a matrix that defines the rank. But if you have a square matrix, then it is also equivalent. Let me say the number of non zero, uh, sorry, non negative, uh, non uh, number of non negative, number of non zero eigenvalues, number of positive eigenvalues gives you the rank of the matrix. Or it's also equal to define that what is the what is the smallest minor whose determinant is non zero. If you have a three-metric matrix whose determinant is zero, the rank of that matrix is less than three. So if you have a two by two matrix, sub matrix, so the, the dimension of the sub matrix whose determinant is non zero and any other bigger matrix has a zero determinant, you call that as rank of uh, the matrix. Okay, so this is um, also another quantity which can be defined for uh, the general matrix. Okay, I think I have managed